With the tax season rapidly approaching, first time or inexperienced taxpayers may feel lost as to what to do next. While filing taxes is already nerve wracking by itself, when you consider all the different scams and tricks that are out there, this task becomes daunting. News Press Now's Jasmine Knight tells us how you can avoid tax scams for a safe and enjoyable tax season. With the new age of social media and technology, you would think scams would be a thing of the past. However, because of advancements in technology, scams have only become more prevalent. I guess the scammers are getting more intelligent and with media and access to internet and digital files, they're able to do a lot of things that make their phone calls and their emails look like they're coming from the IRS. Christina Weevelt smith a local certified public accountant, has seen it all. She says that many of these scammers target senior citizens. Typically, a scammer will either call, text, or email their victim and encourage them to fill out a form to get a big refund. Another trick is to convince the victim to conduct a wire transfer or to load a prepaid debit card to pay off a big balance. The emails, a lot of times, they will say that you owe a big balance, and if you don't pay right away, that they're going to either take away your property, take away your social security number, they're gonna make a lot of threats. But that's what they also will do on the phone calls, is they're going to say that you're gonna be arrested immediately, they're gonna come and take away your property. With that being said, what should you do in case you become a victim of a tax scale? The first piece of advice would be to call your tax preparer or financial advisor. From there, they will be able to assist you based on your particular case. You can also call the IRS directly to sort out any balances or questions regarding your taxes. With AI and with the scammers being so sophisticated, if you find yourself on a phone call and you're not, you don't feel like it's really the IRS, you're not sure who you were talking to, I would say just hang up. Don't answer any of their questions. They can use your voice recordings. They can take pieces and snippets of what you say to make it sound like you said yes to something, that you agreed to something, that you gave them their name. So do not give out any personal information and then I would just hang up on them. It is also important to remember that the primary contact method for the IRS is by mail. So please be hazardous of any potential scams that take place via your phone or computer. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Jasmine Knight.